Hola, good morning, buenos dias. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by and spending some time with me here today. It's your girl, Daniela, Miss Four Lizard, the planning fitness diva. And today I am going to check in with my fitness planner from the Happy Planner. I want to show you everything that I've been up to with this planner. I've added a lot of cool images, motivating images. Um, into this planner since I last checked in with it and I'm just really excited to share with you my progress so far and I'm also going to plan um, my fitness program for the following week which is the week of October the 17th through the 23rd so if any of that sounds interesting to you then just keep on watching. Okay, I am really excited with my fitness planner. I have been keeping up with it. I have been consistent with it. I have been working out a lot more than I used to. And so I feel like I am on this like upward trajectory and the more I do it, the easier it gets and the more excited I am to do it. So I'm just, I'm just really excited about my fitness planner right now. I've been really motivated um, ever since my huge fitness planner update and transformation. As soon as I got this fitness planner from the Happy Planner, this is their um, newest fitness planner that they released in their fall release. Um, it, it is this beautiful pastel tie-dye um, design and I got the matching uh, pastel tie-dye discs as well. As soon as I got this planner, I knew that <laughs> my fitness game was going to improve because it motivates me so much. So my cover page, just one that I've done before. And then just to uh, briefly flip through this planner, um, these dividers are really, really cute. In my last fitness update um, video, I changed all the dividers. I released the idea that I had in my mind that all the dividers had to be fitness related. I let the idea go and then I allowed myself the space and the room to have non-fitness dividers in my fitness planner. And these are so much cuter than the ones that came with the fitness planner, so I'm very happy um, to see them. This one is so cute with the ladybugs. And last time I um, updated my fitness planner or I checked in with my fitness planner, you saw me like changing the dividers and also like throwing down stickers everywhere that I saw blank space because honestly, blank space in my fitness planner kind of stresses me out and I just, I feel like almost like it is a reminder of like a past failure and I know that isn't right. It's not right to think that it's and it's okay to not work out or to not check in with your fitness planner. Um, it's okay to have blank space but for me I really really like having a beautiful full written in planner and it motivates me to check in with it if I see that it's nice and full and complete and so what I ended up doing was just throwing down stickers everywhere that I saw blank space and also I finally got a fitness magazine and then I cut out a bunch of clip art and motivating motivating images um, and I just popped them down on pages where I had completely blank pages and so this is an example of um, just this image I clipped out and then I also decorated it with some fitness stickers and um, you can see throughout my planner um, all of these uh, magazine images. Some weeks I don't have room to add stickers or you know magazine images because I had already filled them up pretty uh, pretty well but some pages were completely blank, like this monthly overview page. And so I just added this wonderful picture of this lady with her kettle ball. I added some text here and there from that magazine. It was just a magazine that I got at Barnes and Nobles. It was a really interesting one, actually. It was called The Science of Fitness. And I actually learned a lot reading that magazine. And I just cut out all of the images that I found inspirational. This divider is really cute, the one for July. It's so, so cute. 
And then I really like this image here. I love this lady's outfit. I also added a picture of me and my boyfriend at the top of San Gorgonio. I did a backpacking trip to San Gorgonio um, in late July and it was such a workout. So I wanted to add that there. And then more images. The month of July, I don't think I checked in with my fitness planner at all. So these pages are very much just collage pages. Oh, this week I did try to use my fitness planner, but honestly, I like, didn't, <laughs> didn't do too much. Um, and then more uh, motivating images. I still have some space to, you know, add more images or stickers, but I'm just leaving it like that for now. So I did a lot of collage work. Um, and then this is the month of August. Again, this month, oh, the month of August, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I didn't do anything in my fitness planner. I took a complete break away from my fitness planner. And so I just had a lot of images here and um, I love this image. And that's it. I actually took out some pages for the month of August because I, I figured I didn't need to like collage every single page. I could just take out pages, um, which is what I did here. And then this is blank, but that's fine. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. The month of September, very cute divider. September's when I finally started kind of keeping up with my fitness planner. Um, so the monthly is actually how I like to use it, where I just write down my workouts um, throughout the month. And then I also switched to this new style of fitness uh, format with the meal planning and meal prepping here at the top and then the exercise and the hydration tracker down at the bottom. And this is the first week I kind of started getting back into fitness planning and then I also dropped off um, the last couple of days this week. So I just added this cute image, um, this cute workout image there from that magazine. And then again, I dropped my fitness planner for this week and this week, and I actually ran out of images from that magazine. So I wasn't able to add more cool images on these pages, but that's fine. Maybe, um, in a couple of weeks, I'll go back and get another fitness magazine and try to like add some more images um, throughout my planner. Okay, this is the first week that I was in my fitness planner. I was being consistent um, and I kept up with it for the entire week and I filled, you know, every single inch of this spread and I was very proud of myself. And then I kept up with it for another week. Um, so this is the first couple of days of October here. Very happy with how it turned out. I was keeping up with my food tracking. I was keeping up with my workouts and my hydration. And then we have the month of October. And then for this progress selfie page, I'm thinking of actually using this to journal and then adding photos um, of myself at the gym here at the top. I printed out this little thumbnail of me with my kettlebell and my fitness planner. This is the thumbnail from my last fitness video. I thought it was cute, so I added it there um, just to kind of remind myself that it was around this time that I really started getting back into fitness. And then this is my October divider. It's super, super cute and I love it so much. And this is the current monthly page and I have been keeping up with my workouts and my monthly page and I'm very proud of myself for how it's looking. So far, I've only really taken one, two, three, four, five, five rest days. And honestly, um, I took so many rest days around this time because I was traveling and I also did like a killer workout on the 8th and so I was like super sore for like a couple days after but um, this is my first week in October and I've kept up with it um, I'm very very happy with how I've set up my fitness planner this week I actually went back to the traditional fitness planner layout where it's like four sections and I've labeled each section um, to reflect my particular workout program and needs. So the first section up here is what I call my movement section. So anything that's stretching, walking, running um, goes in movement as well as things like gardening or even doing a bunch of chores, that's all kind of movement. And then the second section here is my Fitbit section. It has all my Fitbit stats, my steps, miles, floors, calories, and my sleep. And then this section down here, the grid section, is my workout section. So this is anything that is um, 
not movement so mostly like strengths type of things and anything that just doesn't fit up in my movement section this is like my workout section and then i have my hydration tracker here at the bottom and this is actually the week I started my Dutch door formatting um, style um, that I learned from Cecilia over at Creatively Gracious. And it's basically, I cut um, a color block page into like a smaller section and I just tuck it in here. And this is where I write my meal planning and my food log. And so the first page here, I was still trying to figure out how I wanted to use this section because the back of it is the monthly, which I don't use, and the inside of it is the first week here. And so because it's cut here at the top, I can see, you know, the dates kind of each column corresponds to. I have a grocery list here on the sidebar. And how I use the color block for this, the first block is breakfast, and then we have lunch dinner, a snack, and then these two blocks down here are my caloric total um, calculation columns. So I calculate how many calories I've eaten and then I take the calorie output from my Fitbit um, to calculate the net caloric gain or loss and that way I can keep track of whether I'm gaining weight or losing weight throughout the day. And I actually wasn't able to fill in these two columns um, but I got into it more so um, in the next week. So this is the second week in October here. Oh, and before I get into that, I just want to say that October the 8th, I did a hike at Carlsbad Caverns. I was out with my um, partner in New Mexico. We did two national parks in one day. We did Carlsbad Caverns, and then we did Guadalupe Mountain National Park, and we hiked up to Guadalupe Peak. This hike was 8.4 miles, and then the Carlsbad Caverns hike. I'm not sure how long it was. I want to say it was like four to five miles. I just put down five miles there, but I'm not sure how long that one was. Either way, my Fitbit recorded almost 42,000 steps that day, and I burned 3,300 calories, basically, and it was such an intense day. Yeah, and I actually wasn't able to um, do a lot of food logging this week, but um, the next week I actually was able to do more food logging. So this was um, this current week. It's actually Sunday the 16th right now. Just like I did it last week, I have movement, Fitbit stats, strength, and hydration. And I was really able to keep up with this um, fitness planner this week. So I just have like my walking and stretching up here. Um, I did a run on Friday, 1.58 miles. I hit 10,000 steps um, four days so far out of the week. I have my hydration trackers here at the bottom. And then I did some pectoral fly work, um, upper body strength on a machine at the gym. I did um, three sets of 10 at 10, 25, and 45 um, weight. And I'm pretty sore from that actually. It was nice to, uh, to have, to feel sore. And then in terms of food logging, I was actually able to keep up with my food logging this week. And this is what, that looks like. Let me put that down there. So really, really similarly to how it was set up last week, I have breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, and then my caloric um, total calculation here at the bottom. So in the first half of the week, I was pretty good about not overeating, and by Wednesday, I had a total weekly net caloric loss of 1,400 calories. But then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I was actually eating, overeating a little bit. <laughs> And so on Thursday, I gained 44 calories, and then on Friday, I gained almost 800 calories, and then on Saturday, I gained 600 calories, and so it completely like took away all those gains or losses, I guess, I achieved during the first half of the week, and so currently, right now, I'm just at a negative 20 calorie a weekly calorie loss. So from the entire week from Monday, I've lost 20 calories, which is absolutely nothing. So that just goes to show how quickly you can lose your gains. So hopefully today, Sunday, I will um, not overeat and try to lose just a little bit more calories. Anyway, um, I need to set up 
my um, fitness program for the week of the 17th to the 23rd. I've already cut my Dutch door here, so uh, I'll just set this to the side for now. So let me just go ahead and set up my fitness program. And I think what I'm gonna do is um, just do a voiceover and speed this up and then come back at the end and um, say goodbye. Okay, so we're gonna start off with my favorite fitness sticker book, the OG, and I'm just gonna lay down some beautiful yellow polka dot washi there on the side and use some boxes to set up my labels. I always use um, my top as my movement section, my second section as my Fitbit stat section, my grid section as my strength section, and that last row there as my hydration tracker. And I think the next thing that I'm gonna go ahead and do is grab my hydration tracker stickers. These are some of my favorite hydration tracker stickers ever. And I kind of want to make my own. I am trying to start my sticker shop with my friend and I really want to make functional stickers. Um, I'm particularly motivated by, you know, getting the stickers that I use. Anyways, I'm gonna really quickly use my little dinner plan sticker as a workout pre-plan sticker um, and I'm gonna grab my Ron Grong fitness sticker book as well to just decorate there the sidebar. The sidebar is always such an awkward space for me. I feel like I'm still trying to figure out how I want to use that sidebar. But really quickly I'm just gonna pre-plan my workout programs. Um, Monday I'm gonna do a run and a strength workout. Tuesday a hit and a booty workout and so on and so forth. Um, I had to think a little bit about what I wanted to do Saturday and Sunday and I decided to take things chill and do a yoga and stretch session Saturday and then on Sunday just a booty workout and a walk so really simple I feel like I'm still trying to get into my fitness routine and so I really want to start off slow and then like always I'm gonna set up my Fitbit stat tracker here and I just like using a ruler to map out the lines because they're nice and straight but I keep track of my steps my miles walked the floors I've walked calories I've burned and my sleep and these are all stats that my Fitbit I have a Versa 3 um, keeps track of and so it's just really nice to see um, particularly my steps miles and calories and I've also been trying to get back into you know keeping track of my sleep and then I'm just gonna decorate a little bit with some full box stickers from my Ron Grong fitness sticker book and then put down some boxes here and there I've been trying to not be super detailed when it comes to my workouts because, you know, plans change. Sometimes my fitness um, and my workout routine falls through. And so I'm trying to kind of strike a happy medium between um, pre-planning my workouts like I've done there in the sidebar, but not doing them in such depth that um, I feel like I've wasted time if I end up not doing them, if that makes any sense. There was a time in my life where I was you know, doing really detailed pre-plans and then I just did not end up doing any of the workouts and then I felt like I just like wrote a bunch of stuff and then didn't do anything. But anyways, I'm gonna treat Saturday as my rest day because um, I feel like Saturday I'm usually just doing a lot of YouTube filming and also just decompressing from the work week. And so I'm just gonna do yoga and a stretch session on Saturday. It's gonna be my rest day. I still wanna, you know, connect with my body. Anyway, I think I will set up my little Dutch door off camera. Um, it's not super fancy. All I'm gonna do is just like write breakfast, lunch, dinner, or I'm gonna put stickers for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snack, and then set up my little calorie calculator. Um, and that's all I'm gonna be doing. So I'll probably do that off camera. Um, it's kind of boring. And it just, it just looks like this um, when it's done. It looks like this. Anyways, thank you so much for spending the time with me here today. Good luck with your workouts this week. You can do it. I believe in you. It's just so much easier the more you do it. So just get your ass to the gym if you can. If not, set up your little home gym. Do what you have to do to take care of yourself and get your workout in. So good luck with your workouts um, this week. I hope you crush them and I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy planning. Bye. No sabe lo que pasa.